Hello, Happiness Abounders, and welcome back. Today we are continuing our theme week about not breaking the chain. So if you listened yesterday, I spoke about Jerry Seinfeld's advice about not breaking the chain of your habits towards what you want to achieve. And today I wanna to keep that momentum by talking about tracking and reporting. Right? I've spoken about this in goal getting before, but it's a crucial part to not breaking the chain. For example, you can say that you are X amount of days not having sugar, but if you haven't been tracking that, that is just one more thing you have to remember, and that's one more bit of energy that you're keeping to remember instead of just tracking an X. Also, there's a lot of satisfaction in tracking an X or a check mark or doing something that shows a completion of the day to tell your brain that you are not breaking the chain. So I want to dive into that a little bit further today and really discuss tracking and reporting. So what does that really look like? For me, I've done it in several different ways. And many of you may know I do a daily routine card. And so I track and report there, whether or not I've been able to do that daily piece of work to get me towards my goal. And that's often something that I'll do in the morning or in the evening, and I'll have it on my routine card notated as such. So I know that I'm making progress and I'm not breaking that chain. Other thing I do is I have a tracking sheet, and it's there that I can track daily successes, or I can track what I did to help me achieve and work towards my goal. I have also used a sheet before where it's, here's what the goal is for tomorrow, did I complete it, and moving on to the next day. So that's great too because I can do little check marks as I complete it, or I know if it's written in that it has been completed and I'm ready to move on. I mentioned yesterday Jerry Seinfeld has a great big calendar where once he does something once a day to help him work towards his big goals, he does a great big X on that day. The hope being that you have a chain of X's across every single day, meaning that you've put in the work, the time, and the consistency that you need to get to that next level. But let's go back to what I discussed in a little of that first minute of this episode, which is what happens when we don't track and report externally? Also, what happens when we track and report on a device like a phone? Now, I'm sure many of you are like, oh yeah, I track my food or I report on stuff in my phone all the time. I think that works fine if it works for you, but I'd really like you to take a look at how that appeals to you and if you can do it for longer than three weeks. Because for most of us, it's just one more thing now that we have to track in our phone, one more thing to keep on our mind as a reminder to go in and track what we need to do, as opposed to something physical in hand that we may need or we may use to track something. When it's physical and in hand, it really helps our brain realign with what we're trying to do and really creates that chain and not chain breaking, breaking mentality. The red X's across the calendar are much easier to see and feel much more satisfying than checking a done box or however you would do it in your phone. So I want you to look at how Again, the technical side of things, how are you using technology to help you and is it really helping you? Is it sustainable? Does it provide that, that hit of accomplishment when you've checked something off or does it just go into the digital abyss of all the other things, all the other notifications, whether it be email or social media, all the other to-dos, all the other text messages or group me or whatever, WhatsApp notifications that you're getting that are communication things, right? There's so much that happens on our phone that acts as another to-do list. Are you tracking and reporting those daily actions to not break your chain in your phone? And if so, is it something that's sustainable and working for you? Now, I'm gonna go out on a limb, probably gonna offend and hurt a lot of people's feelings here, but I'm going to go out on a limb and I'd wager to bet that it's not working for you. We think it's gonna be easier because we have it on us all the time. We think it's going to be exactly what we need and then after two, three weeks max, we stop using it for that purpose and we stop going towards our goal and we lose, flashback to yesterday's episode, that train momentum. We stop and we stall and it takes so much more to get going again. So I want you to take a look at using your phone and if that does help or hinder you in not breaking the chain. 
So now the other part is, let's say you don't keep track of it in your phone, you don't have an external source to help you track and report on what you're doing, that means it's all up here in your head which means it's so much easier to forget or so much energy is spent trying to remember to do something or trying to remember to say, okay, I'm on day, oh, I'm on day 30 of not eating sugar or whatever it is. I'm on day 30 of doing a stand-up routine every day. I'm on day 30 of a podcast every day. I'm on day 30 of working out, right? External resources to track and report can make such a difference in your mental and your emotional capacity to maintain that momentum. I'm going to say that again. External sources for tracking and reporting are crucial for helping you maintain your momentum, right? That emotional, that mental energy, we need that freed up to do other things. So spending all that time keeping it in your head and trying to memorize how many days you've been sober I'm going to say from whatever it is you've like abstinence from sugar, abstinence from alcohol, um, working out, whatever those may be helping you achieve your goals every day. Having an external resource is huge. And there's something to be said about checking something off the list. We've gone too digital and we've gotten too caught up in our heads, in my opinion. So to help us not break the chain, we need to track our actions every single day and we need to do it on an external resource. Whether that's note cards, whether that's a sheet of paper, whether it's a calendar on the wall, we need something that we see every day that can remind us that we can have that physical action, not just a click or a tap of a button, but a physical action of an X or a check or writing it out to really help us embrace, maintain that momentum of not breaking the chain. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I would love to know what you think and if this resonates with you or if you're like completely against it, you love using your phone and I'm clear out and left field. I'd love to hear from you and know your thoughts. That said, I have seen this in my own life as well as in many of my mentoring clients' lives that this shift to tracking your actions and tracking it at an external resource is huge for maintaining that momentum and freeing up your mental and your emotional capacities. I've seen it in my mentoring clients time in and time out. Which, side note, did you know that I mentor clients? Did you know I have a one-on-one -on -one mentoring program? If you like this episode, you like the podcast, and you want to take things to the next level, I offer one-hour training classes that you can attend online, or I offer full one-on-one -on -one mentoring program, which you can go to happinessabound.com and click on mentoring and check that out. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you, love to know how I can help and how I can help you not break the chain in tracking and reporting and working towards your big goals. So that said, have a wonderful day. Like always, if this episode resonated with you, please rate, review, and subscribe on your listening platform of choice and above everything else. Remember, you are capable of happiness abound.